Welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to test the functionality of your alarms. The only thing you're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a known concentration of span gas. So the first thing we're going to do is remove our protective covering for our enclosure so we can get to our joystick. So that's out of the way. You're gonna to have to enter your password. Uh, access the password, you need to move the joystick to the right one time. Let's say enter password, move it to the right again. You get your flashing A, hold up on the joystick until you get to the number five. You can do this until you get to five, five, seven. That's your password. Once you get to seven, you're gonna stop. You're gonna push straight in on the joystick like it's a push button and just to see passcode OK. Move it to the right once, and now you're in your menu system. If you go up or down, it's a big loop. Uh, the quickest way to get to your alarm thresholds is to go up on the, on the joystick two times, three times, and four times. So set alarm thresholds. Just to show you that uh, what the thresholds are set to, factory default, move it to the right once, that's relay one. And there you have relay one is set to 19.5%. Uh, you go to the left, down, as you see, now we're on relay two, move it to the right, relay two is set to 18. And we can check our audio. If your monitor is equipped with a, an internal horn, your audio alarm is set to 19.5. Uh, you may notice that the audio alarm will sound immediately when it drops below 19.5 and your LEDs and your relays will wait five seconds. There is a factory default five second delay built in. Don't worry about that. So you wanna make sure you Hit it with your span gas for a period of, you know, five to six, seven seconds, somewhere in that, that range. So now I'll go ahead. I have 99.99% nitrogen. You'll want to use some sort of inert, uh, non-depleting gas on this. Try to avoid any types of freons or anything that may damage the cell. Just want to have a little hose attached. Just want to turn it on. And as you can see, we start dropping below. And after five seconds, both of your relays light up. You can go ahead and remove your nitrogen. And at this point, you just want to verify that as it goes above each threshold, the lights go out, the relays de-energize, and your monitor returns back to 20.9 may take a few seconds but um, recovery should happen pretty quick and there you go that is uh, testing the functionality of your relays and your alarms